Hello, today we are going to discuss on the dynamic stability of a differential equation. Last thing we did on the unique solutions, on how to obtain the unique solution and the general solution. And we said that to obtain a general solution, which is this one, you need to add the, in the homogeneous solution, which is this part. This, this part is a homogeneous solution and 3 is a particular solution. So when you add the two, you obtain a general solution. And to obtain a unique, you need to get the value of the arbitrary constant so that then you can replace it in the general solution to have now a unique solution. So let's first of all obtain the unique, the unique solution. So you have y is a function of time is equals to a the arbitrary constant multiplied by the by the antilog plus three. So we need to obtain the the arbitrary constant. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, you are when time time is equals to zero. Our y this is the it's, it's at the initial at the initial value or the initial point when t is equals to zero a y which is at when zero is when y when t is equals to zero a y will be equal to 14. now i'm forgotten to write so we need to replace it replace all this in the equation because this this one is also equal to y the function of time so we'll have zero is equals to no not not zero fourteen this one fourteen is equals to the arbitrary constant because when you raise the the antilog to power zero it's one so it's going to remain a plus three so our a is equals to fourteen minus three which will give us eleven So the next thing is now you replace you replace the arbitrary constant, the value of the arbitrary constant, which is 11. We replace it in the general solution to obtain a unique solution. It's equals to 11 multiplied by the antilog plus 3. So now you have obtained a unique unique solution. So the next thing was now we do the we discuss the dynamic stability of the differential solution of the differential equation. So to do the dynamic stability, we have first of all to uh, to get the the value that the initial value. The initial value this is the point where the the curve is going to start its its movement from. When you're drawing the curve and the initial value is when time is equals to zero and our y when time is zero is equals to is equals to 14. the other thing you need to obtain is the terminal value the terminal value or what you call the steady state value The y bar. And to obtain this value, we always know that the y bar is always equal to the y particular or the particular solution. But in this equation, this is the this part is the homogeneous solution. And this is the particular solution meaning that our y, y the terminal value or when the y the y particular it's equal to three 
as you are doing the obtaining it, you are doing the particular solution. When we set the conditions, we are getting that our y, which is the y bar or the steady state value, was always equal to the y particular, which in this at this time now we, we equate it to three. With the that steady state value is equal to the particular solution. So now the next thing is now you we drew the we drew the curve. We, So on this side you have the time and here you have the y it's a function of time. We said that our initial value when t is equals to zero it's y is equals to fourteen. So let's assume that this point here is the point there is fourteen, which is our y when time is equals to zero. And our terminal value, <coughs> let's read here 3. This when y, the y bar. Or you can still see when time is moving to infinity. Our y is equal to, to 3. Because when time will be moving to infinity, the curve will be moving towards the steady state value. So our curve will be moving like this. Okay. To prove the movement of the curve, let's prove the movement. So you have the y is a function of time is equals to 11 multiply by the antelope plus 3 so due to this negative here it's the one that determines the movement of the the curve when it's, it's a negative the curve will move convergent or move towards the steady, the steady state value when it's a positive the curve will move now will diverge or move away from the the steady state let's see how the it moves like in our case here now when t when t is t equal to zero y here will be equal to 14 when t is equal to one when t equals to two when t equals to three and when t equals maybe 10. So when t is equals to 1, you will have 7.047. When t is equals to 2, we'll have 4.489. When t equals to 3, we'll have 3.5. For eight, when t is equal to ten, we'll have three. Now you can see how the the curve is moving. The curve is moving towards now from fourteen. This one, from fourteen, it goes on de decreasing. The value goes on decreasing. Now it's it moves of moves now towards the the terminal value. Oh, now the steady state value which is 3 at 10 when t is equals to 10 and as it moves when t moves goes on continues now to move until to infinity when t now will be equal to infinity our y at infinity it will be equal still to 3 it will not change that's how now you prove the, the movement of this curve. And to discuss it, now you, you can see the curve, the time part is, or the curve, the curve is convergent.
or the time path you can see the curve of time path path is convergent then the the, the, the equation as you said they are discussing it the differential equation is a uh, is dynamically stable dynamically stable the other thing is that the time path number three the time path starts its motion to start its motion from the initial point our initial point which is equal to 14 why when when time is equal to 0 our y is equal to 14 and moves in a monotonic and convergent manner towards the stationary value or what we call the steady state value And by this we mean when t, when t will be moving towards infinity. Our y, when t is at infinity, is, will still be equal to zero. That's what we mean. The it will move towards in a monotonic and convergent manner towards the stationary or the steady state value, which is equal to three. Now it, it will move at in, when t will be at infinity as time moves. So that's how you, you obtain the it, you obtain the unique the unique solution as you obtained here and now you do the discussion of the dynamic stability by obtaining the initial value the terminal and you drew the the curve or the time value or the, or no, or the time path then you do the the discussion on how the, the curve is convergent or divergent this, this stable or unstable and how it moves monotonically and convergent thank you